Bruh, I swear, someone needs to put this Looney Tune in the Looney Bin. You know what I'm saying? But, anyway, let's get into this. Intro. Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction slash review video. Uh, this will actually be a review rather than a reaction because I did give this video a once-over. Um, now, look, man, like I said, I, I never have any problems with church, you know, making these videos. Like I said, the man is entitled to do whatever kind of video he wants to do at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I respect his right, his 1A right, you know what I mean? Just as I'm sure he respects my 1A right. But anyway... Uh, I was going to do a reaction to a uh, previous Dagburn video that he put out, but uh, before I can get to it, he took it down, and then he took down the other video that I did a reaction to, um, and uh, I don't know if Church wants me to take down the other reaction videos since he took his, since he took his video down, um, but I mean, he's more than welcome to ask, you know what I'm saying, and I'd be more than happy to uh, respectfully take down those videos, you know what I'm saying, or at least that one video, um, since, like I said, he took down his video, but, till then, we're gonna go ahead and get into this one, um, because, man, like I said, this dude, and I'm not talking about church, by the way, I'm talking about the guy that he's talking about in this video, that he addresses in this video, whether this guy, um, is willing to admit it or not he needs some help but anyway we'll get into more of that as the video progresses this is again this video that i'm reacting to is a fairly long video it's almost a half hour long so be warned this video that i'm making may be a fairly long video um i wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being like somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour but anyway let's go ahead and jump right into this i like it hit hit go all right well today just worry about the cars comma Get them taken to the warehouse and uh, bring me back the keys and then just worry about the grass tomorrow. And also we need to get some bug stuff to spray around the house. Hey, tomorrow I'm going to come by and look at that crown mold and baseboard and stuff and see about uh, the stain samples for the uh, floor. All right, bet. I'm going to have the uh, security pick you up from the airport. Hit up my lawyer and see if I'm on the schedule for anything and if not... Let's do it. Hell yeah. What up, fam? All right, let's. What's good, fam? Before you say, oh no, another one of these. Oh, please stop, please stop. Just do yourself a favor and just shut up. <laughs> shut up. This is my life. I put my life on here. Facts, like I've always said. I may not always agree with the stuff that he puts out, but I respect his right to do what he wants, to say what he wants. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not complaining, man. Let's go. This is what's going on. It, it, I'm just going to drink my YouTube for a minute. As you can tell, I've tried to not talk about this. I'm trying to ignore it. But me, as the YouTuber of this channel, I have a responsibility to let the fans know what's going on. And I have a lot of people that have no idea what the fuck's going on because of this unnecessary, pointless clusterfuck. Mm -hmm. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I have been through a slew of batshit crazy events in the past five years. And he is not exaggerating. And honestly, a lot of these events sound fake. They sound so crazy that they sound fake. And then when people go look it up, they're like, holy shit, he actually wasn't lying. He actually... That Facts. A lot of the stuff that this man has gone through, it sounds like something you would hear about or see in the movies. You know what I'm saying? It's just unreal. That's exactly what happened. That's the kind of reputation I have. Don't believe me? Come to the county where I shit, eat, and sleep. Ask them. Anyone. Ask the guy walking down the street. It doesn't matter who you ask. They're all going to say the same thing. And the fact that people just keep trying to jump on like zombies and like suck the blood out of me, like it never works. So I just don't know why they even do it anymore. Like the time that I turned that female artist not lesbian anymore and then wrote her a song about very non-lesbian things. 
leader of the Weasel Gang. That was a hit song. And till this day, it's still her biggest, most profitable song that puts money in her pocket. Talk about a one-hit wonder, you know what I'm saying, bro? That's sad. Every month. And then when she got the hit song, she turned around and hired a fucking camera crew that looked like they were going to film Jurassic Park. Gets in front of the camera and is like, yeah, you know, I, I dated him and was sleeping in his bed. And then wrote a song about sleeping in his bed. But he grabbed my boob and I'm devastated. Like, <laughs> Ain't that some shit? She was dating him. Slept in his bed. Wrote a song about sleeping in his bed. And then got in front of a camera, <laughs> which was her biggest, most, most dumbest, dumbest mistake she's ever made that has cost her dearly. Talking about, he grabbed my boob while I was laying in his bed. Well, you're laying in the guy's bed. What is he supposed to think? How is he supposed to feel? Then, even after that, her fucking team and family had the audacity to be like, well, can she still do, can she still open up for up church and do those shows? No, dude. <sighs> Put yourself in Ryan's shoes for, for a second, if you will. How would you feel if someone that you thought you, you've trusted, you, you, you thought you loved, or at least loved you, right, was laying in your bed, hmm? Did a song with you about laying in your bed. You know what I'm saying? Then got on camera and talked about how, you know, you violated her because you grabbed her boob while she was laying in your bed. Would you want that person to be anywhere near you after that point? I know I wouldn't. Then the other whack job. We all know who this one is. Another female YouTuber comes to make some YouTube videos with me. Then I refuse to have sex with her, and she gets really angry. First night we hung out, we went to Jason Aldean's. Hell, she even said it on Bunny's podcast, Ryan Upchurch saved my life. She said she was drugged. We were at Jason Aldean's. She starts acting like she's drugged or something. So I take her to my car. She throws up in my $180,000 very, very special edition Mustang. I clean it up. I call the hospital. I take her to the hospital. We get there. We're there till 5 in the morning. I don't really know this chick. She doesn't know anyone. She's not even from this country. If you don't know who he's talking about, just ask Matthew Santoro. I'm sitting there at the foot of the bed looking at her. She's like, oh, like fake going in and out or something. The doctor comes in there and is like, uh, there's absolutely nothing in your bloodstream. And she's like, no, it must be a mistake. And they're like, no, there's, there's nothing in there. You're, you're absolutely fine. You're not even drunk. Now this is just some person who is just completely whacked out of their mind. You know what I'm saying? And, bruh, just bruh. Next thing I know, I'm standing inside a fucking courtroom in Nashville at, 10 o'clock in the morning in front of a judge and everybody while the same exact person that I quote unquote saved is telling the judge that that I have hit man and uh, there's possibly dead bodies buried in my yard <laughs> and, and I do organized crime and all this shit and I'm just like dang keep in mind between all this I'm still working making music music videos Booking shows, trying to do shows, building multiple houses for my family and friends, employing like 30, 40 people at a time. I'm saying, man, I mean, for, for a guy who goes out of his way to help people, man, it's like, how can, you, how can you not feel for him? You know what I mean? When you hear about the shit that he deals with on a regular basis, you know what I'm saying? All this bullshit, you know what I mean? That people who, who put this man through, how can you not feel for him? Bruh, bruh, like I said, man, I know what it's like to go out of my way for somebody and then to have that same person bite my hand. It fucking sucks. It really does. And that's why I don't talk to certain people anymore. I've shut out certain people in my life. Because, again, I went out of my way 
to help them, even with the tiniest, you know, remedial task, you know what I'm saying, like, driving them to the grocery store, you know what I'm saying, fucking, uh, driving them to go pick up a fucking, uh, uh, terrarium for, for their, for their fucking boa constrictor, you know what, fuck it, all I know is that, like I said, I, like I said, I, I just, I get it, man, I, I really do, I really do, you know what I'm saying, it, it fucking sucks, you know what I mean, these are people you're supposed to call family, you're supposed to call friend, and they fucking do you dirty, you know what I'm saying, I've, I've taken friends, I took, I took a friend to a concert, a Tech 9 concert one time, and dude promised to pay me back for for a ticket. I had to hound him for months. Like, bro, you said you're, you're, you're going to pay me back for my ticket. So, what's up? Where's where's my money? You know what I'm saying? And I haven't, even, I haven't spoken to this person in a while. Bruh. Bruh. People, man, I'm telling you. People, people suck. Paying them all on time. Never having an issue, and somewhere in between all the madness, trying to find two seconds for myself. <laughs> yeah, right. And now we're here. More frugal McDougal Dr. Seuss shit. So I'm gonna lay it out for you. If you're confused at all or questioning my credibility, well, here we go. Get your fucking helmet, get your thermos, get your bubble wrap to wrap yourself in because this shit is just bizarre and crazy sounding. All right, so let me be clear. I didn't find out about this guy until he started tagging me in, like, all this shit. Here's the guy we're talking about, because I'm not saying his fucking name anymore. Here he is. Like, pretty much talking like he knew me and, like, uh, saying all these things that, I, oh, he did, Ryan did this and he's this and he's a liar, he's a fake, he's phony, he's that. Just, like, going off the handle. And I was like, yo, who is this guy? So I ended up looking him up. But when I looked him up, all I found was... You know, like videos of him like dancing to my songs and being like, I love Ryan Up Church. And just, and, and even even to the point where he was like, I just called him this morning, just got off the phone with him. And I'm like, and listen to me, I've never seen this dude before. I've never met this dude before. Hell, I didn't even talk to this motherfucker beforehand. I didn't know him at all. I didn't even know he existed. So at this point, I'm like, wait, <laughs> what is going on? Because I'm seeing the videos people are sending me at this point, and, and dude's like, I know what you did last summer. I, I'm going to tell the truth. You better tell the truth. The truth is going to come out. I know what you did last summer, man. Get... <laughs> Bruh, that reminds me. I need to get that movie on, on, on Blu-ray, man, to add to my horror collection. But, yo, I mean, dude ain't wrong, man. This dude that he's talking about, who I will not mention his name either. Like I said, I, I wanted to do with, with this person anymore. I... I didn't even want to do that last reaction video. You know what I'm saying? That dude, the gobble wobble. Fuck. But anyway, that video. I didn't even want to do that video. But I was like, you know what? If that's what my, my, my viewers want, that's what my audience want, I'm going to give them what they want. You know what I'm saying? If that's what my fam wants. If that's what my, my fam want, then that's what I'm going to give them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I mean, because, yeah, it, it, it has, you know, been... Because this dude... Is just on a whole nother level with just being straight up obsessed with this guy. You know what I'm saying? And just being straight up obsessed with just making an absolute ass out of himself. Being a straight up fucking nuisance to his hometown. You know what I'm saying? Terrorizing uh, his, his mayor and other people, you know, in his town. Bruh. And we're, we're going to get into more of that as the video progresses. So let's get back into it. I'm just kidding. I'm just sitting here like, oh, okay. But then I'm finding these other videos when I type it in of him like belly dancing to my music and fucking doing some other shit. I'm saying, oh boy, on a whole nother level of crazy. So as I'm sitting here researching this guy and finding all this shit, I'm like, well, what was the breaking point? Like, what, what made this dude just fucking start doing crazy shit? That's when I found the video of him drawing a picture of my face. Now listen, this is normal, which is weird, and uh, by the way, speaking of drawings, um, I just finally finished my, my drawing slash painting of my picture of, you know, an old pickup truck that I once had, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you might have seen it, it's in the community post, I just got the picture frame for it, and now it's hanging up on my wall, you know what I'm saying? I'm hanging that hanging that picture up with, with, uh, with uh, pride, you know what I mean? Bruh. Anyway. 
Well, if an artist who fucking, you know, draws or if it's a, a young kid, it's normal. You know, it's cute. But when you're on the internet and you're like, hey, I'm a 37-year-old tatted up redneck. You didn't look at my thing yet. You didn't show nobody the picture I drove your face. That's when it starts to get a little weird. So I keep... Facts. Facts. Look, the man is busy. You know what I mean? He's got a life. He ain't got time to freaking, you know, give one person, you know, all this freaking uh, um, attention. You know what I'm saying? The man is busy. He's got things to do. He's got a life to live. You know what I'm saying? He's got an old lady. You know what I'm saying? He's got shows to do. He's got records to make. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. He's got he's got homes that, that, that he's building, again, as he said, for his family and his friends. You know what I mean? The man is busy. You know what I mean? He ain't got time for one person. You know what I mean? He can only show so much love to everybody that, that that's fucking with him. Everybody that's rocking with him. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if that little bit of attention that I got from church, you know what I'm saying, where he commented on my videos, you know what I'm saying, and so to, to my premiere, even if that's all that I'm going to get from him, I appreciate it. I, I love it. You know what I'm saying? He did not have to do that. But the fact that he went out of his way to let me know that he watches my shit, he follows my shit. Like I said, I'm thankful for that. And I will always be thankful for that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm good. I know it, it may have come across probably the wrong way when I said, like, hey, look, man, I would love to do a song with him. I would love to do the remix of Gas with him. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, but to be fair, I also said if he's down with that, you know what I mean? Meaning on his time, whenever he wants to do it, if that opportunity comes around, cool. However, I also said even if the opportunity never comes around, that's okay. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that I'm going to hate on the dude, you know what I mean? Or, or allow myself to be the next, you know, crazy person on the internet. No, I just do that out there to let them know, like, hey, I would love to do this with you. If it happens, cool. If it doesn't, that's cool, too. Like I said, I appreciate, you know, the love that my man has shown to me regardless. You know what I'm saying? If that's all I'm going to get, cool. That's fine. You don't owe me any more church. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still rocking with you. You know what I mean? Bruh. If I wasn't rocking with church, obviously, I would not be reacting to more of his stuff here on my channel. I would not be sharing this stuff with you on my channel. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't a man of my word. I'm just saying. Scrolling and looking. And then, and then I see another video about Redneck Nation. Listen, the guy who owns Redneck Nation is nice. He has a heart of fucking gold. Okay? This guy was like, I want to be sponsored by Redneck Nation. Well, you know, the guy who's smart as fuck that runs Redneck Nation looked at it and was like, hell to the gnaw, but wanted to be nice about it. And he was like, nah, you know, we don't really need nobody right now. Uh, I'm going to send you some free merch. Well, then the, the free merch didn't get there fast enough. He actually ended up, he, he got the merch. Talk about being overly entitled, man. I mean, fuck. From Redneck Nation. But he didn't get it fast enough. He didn't get something free fast enough. So he starts talking shit. Should be thankful that you got some free shit. I wish I can get some free shit. You know what I mean? Shit, you, you, you can't beat free. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Nobody owes you anything. You, you, like I said, you should be glad you got free shit. Shouldn't matter how long it, it takes to get to your residence. The fact that you got free shit, you should be thankful for. Because ain't nobody had to give you shit. Bruh. What about them? All right, so this is the part where you start putting the helmet on the bubble wrap. Because we're about to go zero to like 1,000 real quick. So at this point, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to make a video. This is, this is hilarious. Now, look, this is me being straight up real about shit. Okay, look. I have gone back and forth with other people who are fucking normal, and that was it. And now we're either cool with each other or we just don't bother each other. Shotgun Shane and Hosier, look at them. They're both fucking minding their own fucking business, doing shit. But this new guy we're talking about, not normal. And I could tell when I started noticing that he started believing his own false reality. Like... He started saying stuff like, I know about the rap game. I study algorithm. I'm like, what? What, is that? what does that mean? Or saying yeah. something like, this has been going on for years. Again, yeah, man, if you're so knowledgeable about shit, then why aren't you doing something with that knowledge? Instead of making a nuisance out of yourself. 
I just now found out about this guy. I don't, I still ain't never met him. <sighs> so at first I was like, okay. And for those of you who may have missed out, if you've been under a rock, let me wind this back while I talk. Um, this is the same guy who church reached out and offered to help. He knew that the guy was under some kind of influence and church offered to help get this guy clean and sober. And rather than taking church up on his offer, dude is still acting an ass, making a, a, an even bigger nuisance out of himself to the point where now everybody in his hometown now knows who he is. They now all know him, but they know him for all the wrong reasons. Bruh. He started saying stuff like, I know about the rap game. I study algorithm. Like, what? What does that, what does that mean? Or saying something like, this has been going on for years. I just now found out about this guy. I don't, I still ain't never met him. <sighs> so, if and this is the same guy who said supposedly a friend of his who happens to be black was assaulted by police officers. One time he said it happened two years ago. Another time he said it happened four years ago. Like this dude can't even keep his fucking story straight. Can't even keep his fucking shit straight. So it's hard, it's hard to be taking him seriously, bruh. At first, I was like, okay, this is like a character he's made. He, he's trying to get views, whatever. I'll entertain it. I'll go back and forth with him on videos. I mean, all I do is mention shit they mention. Just make a note how dumb it sounds, and everyone loves it. So then after like one or two videos, I noticed that he's getting fucking hostile and like taking it serious. And I was like, oh, you actually believe the fucking doo-doo coming out of your mouth? <sighs> So then I look up his criminal record and I was like, well, goddamn, I had to double check and make sure I didn't click a link for the fucking Declaration of Independence. <laughs> now, look, there ain't nothing wrong with going to jail or getting in trouble as long as it's under certain circumstances, man. I've been arrested. You can look it up. My friends, they have felonies. Some of them do. They're still good people. But <laughs> facts, no one's character should be, you know, judge based on you know their their record you know you know what i'm saying no no one's re record should determine you know somebody's character because you don't know that the uh, circumstances of what happened to them at that time you don't know what they were dealing with what they were going through you know what i'm saying you don't know what got them into these kind of situations in the first place you know what i'm saying bruh it's so easy to be on the outside looking in and be like oh because this, this person was, was arrested before oh now all of a sudden you know, you, you're, you're going to pass judgment on them and assume, make an ass out of yourself by assuming that, oh, he must be a bad person. I mean, he, he, he's been in jail. Bruh. When you've been arrested like a fucking shit ton of times in a very short amount of time, mm -hmm. and you're arrested for like, you know, thieving or domestic assault, and you're like looking into the camera and smiling like you just stole an eight-year-old's bucket of candy and you just ate all of it before the dad came back and was like, where's my son's candy? You're like, eh, I already ate it. Eh. So at this... I mean, he ain't wrong. That's how this dude be looking. This, You look at this guy's face when he does that shit and tell me this dude ain't manic. You know what I'm saying? Tell me that, that this dude don't deserve to be locked up in, in a padded room, you know what I'm saying, by the white coats. I'm saying at this point he has totally convinced himself that he knows me and that this whole thing is oh you guys didn't know me and Upchurch we we've been going at it you didn't know we had this humongous big connection that's when I was like yes he is absolutely that shit crazy oh no mm -hmm. we ain't, we ain't got to the crazy part yet we're about to get there we just it's a lot so as this keeps progressing um I guess he doesn't understand that everyone that watches this channel he doesn't get that we watch it because, you know, we we watch the train wrecks over here. I'm just going to be real. We watch the train wrecks. Mm -hmm. In my personal life, I'm fascinated by human behavior anyways. I'm always looking up stuff like the story of how Selena got killed by one of her own team members or uh, uh, the Kurt Cobain uh, suicide conspiracy. I, like, I, I look this kind of stuff up. So being a celebrity of some sort... And then seeing this kind of behavior unfold in my own time, in real time, of course I'm going to fucking look at it. So about three weeks ago, he reached the point of unhealthily, atomically obsessed. To the point where he's... 
and that is not an exaggeration. I mean, for those of you who've been following along, you guys know just as well as he does, you know just as well as I do. Harassing my mom, saying... See, now, that's why I have a problem. Him harassing his mom, that is not cool, dude. Leave, 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 leave Miss Patty alone. You know what I'm saying? The woman doesn't deserve to be brought into the, this, this chaos, this madness. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Shout out to Miss Patty Lynn, by the way. Sexual shit about her, for whatever fucking reason. Making videos, being like, did your mom have sex with this person? Why'd you let her do that? Like, what, what, what am I, what? What kind of fucking... You know you're not supposed to regulate or tell your mom, you know, who to... Yeah, you ain't supposed to do that. That's weird. What goes on in your head? Yeah, you want me to fucking just <laughs> stick my mom in a cage? You can come out tomorrow. What the fuck? Then he goes... For real, like, dude. And... I'm not assuming anything, but like I said, look, it doesn't even matter what she's doing with her life. What she does with her life, that's nobody's business but hers. You know what I'm saying? So, like, dude, leave the man's mother alone. The fuck is wrong with this dude? I mean, I shouldn't be asking that because, I mean, we all know by now what the fuck is wrong with this dude. He's just fucking whacked out of his mind. This is as far as to find my little brother who is not a social media type person. He's like country, country. He, like, deals with horses and shit. So my country-ass brother hits me up. He's like, hey, uh, you know I ain't into all the internet stuff, uh. But I got this dude, like, he's done text me, like, 80 times, like, asking for money to leave our family alone. And now he's, like, talking about mom's sex life. He's like, do we know who this guy is? I was like, no. He's like, well, is, is something wrong with him? I was like, yeah, he's fucking stupid. My brother's like, well, all right, Cletus. And I was like, yeah, just don't worry about him. He's, I mean, he ain't a threat to us. <laughs> so no, if anything, the man is more of a threat to himself rather than being a threat to others. So then I didn't give dude attention no more. I was like, fuck it. He's something, he done ate too many crayons or something. The next mm. day, my country ass brother hits me up again, sends me a screenshot. He told me, he said, how old's this dude? I said, like 35, 40 years old. I said, why, why you need to know his age for? He's like, because. He just sent me a message saying he was going to hit up our underage sister. No. N n no. No way is he that fucking stupid. Now, you guys know, my channel has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to that shit. Church has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to that shit. As a matter of fact, wasn't it Church who called out um, a YouTuber who shall remain nameless for making a, a, how can I say this, a dirty joke in regards to minors? Hmm? Hmm? I'm pretty sure Church called this person out on that. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. Who is a freshman in high school, might I add. So in the midst of the these two or three weeks of time, he keeps saying he wants a boxing match. I want to box you. Because, you know, he's stupid as fuck, and he sees all the other famous people boxing, and he don't understand that he's not famous. So he's willing to even hit up a, a small underage female and say who knows what. So I threatened to knock his fucking teeth out. And I'll say that in court too. And you know what? I don't blame him. Hell, I, I do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Look, I have a niece, right? She's underage. If I find out anyone is trying to hit her up, you know what I'm saying? I will go out of my way and make sure that this person doesn't walk again. Because again, I don't play with that shit. I do not fuck around with that shit. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah. I said I was gonna knock his fucking teeth out. He's insinuating he's gonna hit up my underage sister. So, yeah. When I see him, I'm still gonna do the same thing. Knock his fucking teeth out. And listen, don't waste your time being like, you're gonna go to jail. I don't, I don't fucking care. Does it look like I care? Oh, no. I highly doubt... 
that a man who's going out of his way to protect his little sister is going to be the one who goes to jail. When they find out why he knocked out or why he knocked off a certain turkey's beak off, I'm pretty sure that turkey will get locked up before he does. Terribly scary. Three meals a day and I get to watch TV and chill with people who probably already listen to my music on both sides of the bars. <laughs> Not to mention, if I go to jail in the South, shit, motherfucker, everybody getting ice cream and hot Cheetos and phone calls. Your boy been saving up millions of dollars for years. Man, my man could be like, be like, um, be like Elvis when Elvis made Jailhouse Rock. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Jailhouse Rock 2.0? Jailhouse Rock Remix? Let's go! We gonna have a party. <laughs> so now that, you know, he's bragged, and keep in mind, he's bragged about all this. <laughs> I, I hit up his mom. I hit up his brother. <laughs> I did this. Dude, those are not brags. Why would you put that out there? Now y'all understand why I feel this Looney Tune needs to be locked up in the Looney Bin. And I would not blame um, the the white coats if they were if they were to misplace the key to his padded cell. I'm just saying. I don't know why he's bragging about. He's incriminating himself. So finally, we're at like the past three days of this dude's life. He is going nuts. He has he's pooped all in his bed, and he's like, "Hey, I'm sick of sleeping in diarrhea. Someone else pooped in my bed." Now he's turning to his own town. To clean up his doo-doo bed when in the process of all this shit with me he has been a nuisance and been harassing the fuck out of his own town not just the law enforcement the government the fucking mayor the fucking the, the lady at the damn sheriff's office the sheriff the you want to talk menace to society levels i mean this guy is a straight up menace to society the attorney in the town I'm not trying to be funny, but even the people who work at the Wendy's. He walked into Wendy's with his family to get some food, and one of the workers went, oh. So he. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I do miss that man, though. <laughs> Tried to file a complaint because someone gobbled at him, bro. <laughs> that sentence alone. You see what I mean when I. Dude's an overgrown child, man. He actually went and go file the complaint because someone gobbled at him. Like, dude, how old are you now again? Like, grow the fuck up. I say it sounds fake. But, but imagine being a cop in a small town where there's only, you know, limited source of you guys. And you got something serious happen, like, I don't know, a car crash with a teen. Um, a fucking bank robbery. Um, you know, trying to catch people selling drugs to kids. And then you have to stop everything you're doing and you go to fucking Wendy's because this dude's mad that somebody at Wendy's made a turkey noise at him. <laughs> yeah, the town's probably sick of this motherfucker. <laughs> Actually, he posted proof of the town being sick of his dumb shit. By the way, Paintsville, it ain't y'all's fault, dude. It ain't. I still love all y'all Creek Squad motherfuckers up there. This ain't got nothing to do with you and everything to do with... <laughs> yeah, and, and I, I'm glad he, he clarified that. That way they know, okay, yeah, it's it's not us. It's this dude that, if ain't, that for all we know, they probably want out of, out of their town. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Because the guy is not a good rep for that town, man. Paintsville, hey, I'm praying for you guys. For real, man. <sighs> bruh. I don't even want to make the fucking noise anymore. It makes me cringe. So what I'm about to show you is what people think about him and how he acts towards people in his own town. Law enforcement and just random people walking down the street. I need to know what you're going to do about this. What we're going to do. Well, I'm going to look at it the same way I'm going to look at Mr. Frazier's form and then I'll make the decision. One. First off, you can't just walk up into a place of the government and act like the sheriff and be like, I need to know what we're going to do about this. No, there's a fucking, there's a process. Also, if you'll notice, there, there, there's a proper way to conduct yourself to get what you want, you know, like, hey, look, I, I have this issue, I was just wondering, can you help me out with this, you know, there's a proper way to, a, to address your issues and getting them resolved, to which, obviously, this dude, you know, 
with all the amount of drugs that he's taken in, in his life, I mean, I'm pretty sure he wiped that part of his brain, you know, down into mush. But it's the other gentleman who's telling him to get the fuck out. He mentioned the name Frazier. Frazier is the name of the guy who was walking down the street minding his own business the other day, and then Johnny just walked up and, like, half-ass hooker punched him. Or at least tried to. I need that. Both of them. Okay. Hang on, no, 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 you don't seem to understand. You seen the video you, yesterday, You right? do not dictate to me, to me you what you're in doing face. in my office. You get, now, you're a little bit stoned. I'm not doing anything. You didn't let him go to his office. He was well on his way into his office until you started going, no, 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 no. So if he's not allowed to go to his office, obviously that means, okay, he's not done, you're not done talking with him, so what is he supposed to do? See how this dude is just making up shit. Trying to make himself look, look like a freaking victim. How everyone is, is 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 out to get him. When really it's the opposite. He's trying to get every all these people that he thinks that that's out to get him. Bruh. Man, leave that old man alone. What are you... Thank you. What are you doing? Right? Antagonizing him, saying, you getting in my face? No. Facts. It's the goddamn phone in your hand. If I hold it like this, it looks like the phone is in y'all's face. Facts. But really, I'm way back here. I want to file a complaint. I need to file a complaint. I, need, I ain't high. There ain't nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Are you sure you're not? I've never seen someone say, hey, guy who files the complaints, I want to file a complaint on the <laughs> guy that files complaints, mm -hmm. which is you. I need to file a complaint. Get out. I need to file a complaint. I'll look at it and find out. You well, you talked to the law yesterday. They told you. You had They told day. you that I wasn't the aggressor. Yeah, aggressively tell them you're not the aggressor. That'll exactly. How how is it that you you refuse to leave this older gentleman alone? You know what I'm saying by not letting him go to his office so he can do his job. You know what I mean, and then try to convince him you're not the aggressor. You're refusing to leave him alone. You're refusing to leave the premises after he's asked you to leave the premises. And you want us to believe you're not the aggressor? Work. I will look at it and then you make a decision. Why did you get my face like that? If Why did you my, get my face like get that? Get out. Why did you get my face like that? Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm going to go talk to the sheriff and show him this video right now. Call the police. I'm showing the sheriff this video. This guy and his videos, his videos. Now he's gonna attempt to run across the town square to be faster than the phone call that that guy's about to make. What am I again? You're a moron. All right. Facts, I agree, he is a moron. Probably should be careful because he probably gonna, gonna, gonna snitch on me next. Well, guys, I'd say the state police be the best way to go. Yeah, officer, I need you all to look into this, to this, to this Jason JV feller, because he, he, he done call me a moron, he done gobbled at me, you know, bruh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this, 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 this Dagburn guy make, make, making these reaction videos, someone, someone needs to do something about him, yeah, it's called, um, it's called First Amendment, my guy, it's called the Constitution, so best of luck. Because they do have their, uh, internet crime division. So y'all live in this hometown and y'all ain't gonna do nothing. He did just do so. He told you exactly where to go for your claim. We didn't say we wouldn't. Yeah, as a matter of fact, let's run that back. Now he's gonna attempt to run across the town square to be faster than the phone call that that guy's about to make. What am I again? You're a moron. All right. Again, facts. Guys, I'd say the state police be the best way to go. Because they do have their uh, internet crime division. So y'all live in this hometown and y'all ain't gonna do nothing. He did just do so. He told you exactly where to go for your claim. He told you which department to go to to make your claim. How can how how can you be so dense? We didn't say we wouldn't do nothing. Can y'all do the report? I, I, mean, I just showed you the proof that I had, and there's threats. I'm receiving threats. Okay. Can you do the report so I can go file the charges? Well, Number one, you ain't coming in here, and you're going to try to... I'm not doing... I'm not trying to...
The other dude just said the same exact, you're not going to come in here, you can't, you do this for me. Yeah, that's how not to get shit done for yourself. Boy. Facts. Just because, you know, they work for the city or whatever, they work for your town, your your community, your, your county, whatever the case, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean you can just waltz into their, their place of business and just demand for them to do something for you. No, no, no. Again, there's proper etiquette. There's, there's a proper way to conduct yourself in order to get things done. Bruh. Bruh. I know your mama taught you better than that. Let's go. Anybody, I, I've always respected you. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put up with this. That's what he's trying to tell you. Yeah, they and they're the, and they're the one that's coming to my house and threatening to kick my door in and going to John Holbrook's house. Moron, I don't know what you're talking. About. Well, I do. Well, I do. You're the only one. Yeah, he is the only one. Psychosis, man. Psychosis will make you think fucking everyone's out to get you. And obviously he thinks everyone's out to get him. Mm -hmm. It's literally everyone. The mayor, the attorney, the cops, the firefighters, the EMS, the fucking cats and dogs in the town. Everyone has cameras on them. That's not a real cat. It's a camera. They got an EMS crown division. All right. Yeah, this dude got it so ass backwards, man. It is just unbelievable. He, he's trying to make it look like all these people are out to get him. But really, it's him that's trying to be out to get them. By trying to set them up. But clearly you can see he, that he's clearly ratting himself out by recording everything. Proving that yes, as the gentleman behind the desk said, he's a moron. Because he's making himself look like a moron. He's not doing himself any favors with all these videos. That can take care Where's the sheriff at? I don't Where's he at? I Where's he at? It don't matter if you find the sheriff or not. He just told you where to go. What? Uh, Facts, and if the sheriff sees you, sees how you're you're treating, you know his his um his workers there, his 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 employees, he gonna tell you the same thing. Like you're a fucking moron. Get the fuck out of here before I lock your ass up. He didn't say go to the sheriff. He said go to the Internet Crime Division. Mm-hmm. What part does that, that don't sound like sheriff. I'm gonna say him wait on him. We'll sit down and where's the sheriff? Just grab a seat. But do it quietly. You know, as well as I do, I ain't done nothing wrong and I'm trying my best to live right. See, look at this, man. He wants people to respect him, but he can't respect these people enough to just sit down and wait patiently and quietly for the sheriff. And after they told him where he can go to file his complaint, the internet, crime division department whatever it's called they told him where to go and he's just there giving these people a hard time and and they they did their job they did their part man Bruh. right and you know as well as i do you're telling a cop you know as well as i do i didn't do nothing the same people who've arrested you like 75 times i mean fuck look right here harassment Intimidating the participant in the legal process, contempt of court, slander, slander again, fleeing the police, stealing shit, stealing shit again. Yeah, um, I don't think they believe anything you say. <laughs> Hell, would a, would, a, would a rap sheet that long? I don't think I can. Yeah, I know what I said earlier and everything, but I mean, bruh. But like I said, this guy is not doing a good job, you know, making himself out to be some kind of angel or saint as he likes it to, to think of himself as i'm just saying but you gotta understand there's a process that we go through and we have to weigh everything out and look at the best avenue you to get success of what you're looking for okay that's the part that pisses me off nobody gonna come here and start running their fucking jaws on me now did i run my jaws on you're you at, you're running on you now. it was toward me uh -huh. Oh, Dwayne, are oh, you motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! I mean, look how he acts. You see how this guy is? I'm running my jaws on you, man. I'm trying to claim on all you motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'm saying this dude needs to be locked up in a padded cell. He needs to be. 
put away in the nut house so he can finally sober up and someone can help him, you know, get get his brain functioning properly, man. Damn. X, this is why nobody takes him serious. Like, everything is, like, super fucking dramatized. Facts. Fuck yeah! Yeah, you're gonna file claims on everyone in the whole world. So he wakes up and... Like, and just just like I, I said earlier, I wouldn't be surprised if he starts filing claims on me because I'm doing these reaction videos. But like I said, I don't care, dude. You, you keep making a nuisance out of yourself. I'm going to spread the word. Let's go. Decides to go bother the sheriff and ask him the same exact question that he's asked everyone else. What do you know? The sheriff gave him the same answer as everyone else. He doesn't like that answer either. I mean, it's for that to show proof. Uh, King Clark said I there was grounds for me to file charges against someone okay. around that church. <sighs> He's literally trying to file charges against church. For what? Like church says, he's never met you. He's never spoken with you. So, dude. Oh my God. Nobody told you that. It's made up in your poo-poo brain. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, this dude is way beyond cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, man. He just... Dude, he makes the Joker look sane. Yeah, I mean, you, you think the uh, Joker is nuts. I mean, I don't know. I think Joker is more tame compared to this guy. Here and, and, uh... Now, he's out of state, right? Yes. Okay, yes. So... And I showed him the proof, and he said there was grounds, okay? Guess what your guy said? Tim Clark said that, okay? No, they didn't. He knows they didn't. Otherwise, he wouldn't give you the answer he's about to give you in a minute that you're going to throw a temper tantrum about and shake your titties. So I'm sitting here, and... Johnny, why you snooze us? Because, man, I, 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 I'm torn all to pieces, man. This is the part where he starts fake crying because he knows he's about to be in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. This is where he's going to try to make himself look like he's the victim. You know what I mean? It's it's all these people's fault. All these people who are, who are allegedly, you know, out to get him. When really, it's it's him, you know? Uh, kids, this is why you should never do drugs. Don't do drugs. You're going to end up like freaking this dumbass. You know what I'm saying? And just make a, a straight nuisance out of yourself. Not only to your, your hong hong town, but all over the internet. You're going to make a, an ass out of yourself on the internet. Don't do not do it. Don't do it. Say Just say no. A lot. This is crazy what I'm going through. What I'm going through right now is crazy in this tank, man. Okay. What's it's crazy. Not, what, what, did, uh, what did Tim advise but, you to do? He told me to talk to the, uh, the state police. Okay, they I called go, the state police. They, they wouldn't do internet, nothing. They got they internet parents. They wouldn't do anything. Okay. What, what they that is not true. You were just there with them. They told you where to go to file your complaint. And you were being a pain in the ass. So, and you chose to get up and leave after they confronted you for your buffoonery. So, stop trying to play yourself and the proof is in your own video footage like that cop said you're a moron they said that that ryan was crazy but that ryan has too much money did he expect the sheriff to believe that how do you think he got to be the sheriff fucking <laughs> being real good at deciphering bullshit mm -hmm. you feel me What did the Internet Crime Division say? Oh, they said that uh, Upchurch was crazy and has a bunch of money. So they ain't doing nothing about it. <laughs> Basically. Didn't even make it to the Crime Division because he was too busy harassing those police officers there. What the state police told me. Okay. That's what he told me. Billy Meade sat there and called me a moron several times. Several times yesterday. Okay. Did they, did they try to... I've got it on video. Okay. Could you imagine being the guy in town who rocks back and forth in a chair rubbing his elbows going, well, Sheriff, what happened was that guy called me a moron. The Sheriff don't fucking give a fuck. And the Sheriff shouldn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. He's not a second grade teacher. 
Right. That ain't right. Exactly. This ain't elementary school, my guy. You're not a little kid anymore. You're a grown-ass man who is around my age. You know what I'm saying? In his mid-30s. Jesus Christ, dude. You give you give guys in their 30s a bad reputation, man. Bruh. This is a place of a place where someone should be able to come in here and be protected. You think they're going to drop everything they're doing to protect a 5'11", 220-pound guy with tattoos who's trying to fight the world? And as he's trying to get beat up by the world and cause havoc er elsewhere, he's also doo-dooing in his hand and, like, throwing it at the mayor and going, You! You did it, mayor! I get Pretty much, this dude is both Beavis and Butthead. Trying to verse the world. Bruh. Give you doo doo balls. Like, no, they're gonna fucking ignore you and not take you serious. And this Facts. ain't nothing more than retaliation. The mayor is involved in this. I'm promising you, he is involved in this shit. Okay. Like I said, John, most of this stuff that you're telling me about, I don't know anything about. The reason he don't know about it is because it's all made up. It is all made up in this dude's head. But John Holbrook, I've tried to bring awareness to this situation that John Holbrook's been involved in this whole situation. Do you see how many people are, like, involved in this situation that nobody knows about? Like, ain't there a point where the hospital has to pick somebody up because they are, like, their brain's fried? I mean, it is wrong for him to, uh, for this stuff to be going on. They're letting John do all this shit to me. Okay. Now. Have you talked with the mayor? Yes, I talked with the mayor. Walked in his office. He made me put my phone down on the counter. Wouldn't even speak to me. Well, yeah. False. Uh, everybody in your town knows you treat everything like this fucking YouTube video. Wouldn't even speak to me with me with, with me recording, right? Wouldn't even do it. Okay. Well, yeah. You can't just. I mean, who the fuck? Who wants to talk when you're sitting there going, "Ain't that what happened? Ain't it? Hang on a second, fucking Terry six four five eight. I know. Ain't it, mayor? Like, dude, if I acted like that, I hope some fucking cops around here would beat the shit out of me. I hope they would. Now, yesterday, I got, I got my... Same goes for me. If I were to be going around, you know, in my, in my, my town, recording people, trying to make them look like they're assholes, trying to beat my ass and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I hope a cop would, would, would fucking beat the shit out of me for being a dumbass, you know what I'm saying? And tell me to go the fuck home. You know what I mean? Or shit. Bruh face yesterday after i left here i was so mad when i left here yesterday two guys got my face out here basically threatening me no that's not what happened here's the fucking video you filmed it dummy you want to swing on me see again man snitching on himself he's self snitching hmm? you don't want me to swing <laughs> 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 bitch bitch Dude, look at that. Like, what were those two guys doing? They were just walking, minding their own business. This dude walks up to them, like, you want to swing on me? You want to swing on me? And then, what? Then does this whole fucking shoulder bump thing? Like, what? Like, like, like he's in elementary school? Yo, kids in elementary school do that stupid shoulder bump thing when they want to instigate, when they want to initiate a fight, rather, I should say. You know what I mean? With whoever it is that they're shoulder bumping. You know what I mean? People in junior high school, high school even, do that shit. What? What? Do something. You know what I mean? Shoulder bump. This is a grown-ass man in his mid-30s acting this way. Out in the public. I'm saying, he he, he, he needs to be locked up. You know what I'm saying? Because, damn it, Bobby, this boy ain't right. You won't do nothing. Swing. Swing. Dude's 30 feet away, not even in talking distance, minding his own business, walking down the street with, I'm guessing, his friend or his family member. Yep. And then this shit happens. Swing, bitch. Yeah. Swing. Go yeah. ahead. Go, Go ahead and hit me. Go ahead. Go ahead, swing. Swing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Swing, big boy. On the road. Swing. Get on. Swing. Get on. He brought the problem to the Fraser guy. The Fraser guy's like, dude, what the fuck? Get on down the road. Exactly. He told him, dude, just go. Leave. Just leave. Leave him alone. But no, he he had to get up in their face. He he crying and bitching about people getting into his face, but yet he has no problems getting into other people's faces, trying to get them to fight him or beat him up. So what? So he can record 
you know, th- this shit happening. You know what I mean? Again, trying to make himself look like a victim so he can have something else to go cry to the mayor about, something else to go cry to the to the police about, something else to go cry to the sheriff about. Like all these problems that he thinks he has, he only has them because he's bringing them upon himself, as Church said. And then Dingleberry's got his fucking phone in dude's face, so dude pushes it back. Dingleberry like throws. <laughs> Called him Dingleberry. <laughs> I mean, he is a Dingleberry, but bruh. <laughs> Let's go. Some bullshit hooker punch and misses. He said, "Dude, dude, throw out a bullshit hooker punch." <laughs> bruh. And then he walks away really fast. Yeah. You get my goddamn face? I got it on record too, buddy. You got my face. Nobody got in your face. They were just walking. Wow. Wow. If you don't like people walking near you, why don't you social distance? Jesus. Got my... Look at this guy right here. I like how this guy right here is just standing there looking at this dude like, bruh, bruh, so, <laughs> bruh, something wrong with you. You on one, aren't you? <laughs> you look at like you on one, aren't you? And I like how the other guy is just walking away like, man, whatever, dude. This guy ain't worth my time. You know what I mean, bruh? My face. Got my face. My face. Something tells me that he, he, he about to start a new social media platform called, called, called My Face. It's going to be MySpace 2.0. What are you doing? What? Right? What are you doing? Facts. Now. Now. I need to talk to Kenya Mark. Again, not, not knowing how to properly conduct yourself. You know what I mean? Practicing good manners. Minding your... Re- refusing to mind your P's and Q's. <sighs> Bruh. Another place of business? Good God of fuck. You can't just walk into a place and go, I need to speak to Kenny Mac! To some sweet old lady. Exactly. Who was talking to you in a nice, friendly tone. You walk up. And you ask. Can, can, can I speak to Kenny Mac, please? Sure, just one second. Okay, thank you. How hard is that? Bruh. You say, excuse me, honey. Is Kenny Mike here? You don't walk in fucking demanding something like a fucking toilet licking fucking crazy person. Facts. Nobody's here, honey. They've gone to, uh, this She's being sweet as can be. He's not here, honey. Yeah, God bless this woman. I mean, even after him de- trying to demand shit from her, I mean, God, God bless her for still maintaining that calm, cool um, demeanor to de-escalate the situation. Honey, he's... And what does he do? Fucking ignore like a rude ass. He leaves. They were saying... Hey, Dude, you see his leg twitching? Like, tell me this guy ain't, ain't under some kind of influence. Watch his leg. He's twitching, dude. This is a dude with some serious mental issues that he brought upon himself. Being sweet as can be. He's not here, honey. He's... And what does he do? Fucking ignore her like a rude ass. And leaves. They were saying AF this and AF that right in front of him yesterday. So now we're back at the sheriff's office and now he's snitching on someone saying the F word. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, it ain't the definition of a snowflake. I don't know what it is. I got people calling me names. I got people cursing at me. It's just words, dude. It's just words. Stop. Stop being a crybaby. Stop being a little bitch. What are you going to do about this officer? Call me a moron. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm going to tell you what, what, what I think you want to hear. But in reality, I'm really not going to do shit because I agree with the officer. I think you are a moron. He's going to put him in. At least that's how I would respond to him. The bad word corner. 
Yeah, and he doesn't get to play with toys and blocks today. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, I'll be sure to let my officer know he can't play with, 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 his, with his toys and video games during his break because he said some naughty words. What do you think he's going to fucking do? They're going to laugh. They're going to be like, oh, he wanted to file a complaint because you called him a name. I will have a discussion with him whenever he comes back to work. Look at man, even his hand is twitchy, dude. This guy has a serious case of the shakes. Look at him. Laugh. They're gonna be like, oh, he wanted to file a complaint because you called him a name. I will have a discussion with him whenever he comes back. Look how he's shaking. <laughs> no, he ain't. You're doing great. You're doing great. Oh, he's doing fantastic. <laughs> but anyways, y'all. So that was Church with uh, Dead Gummit. I forgot to say that in, in, uh, in the intro. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to give this a like. You know what I'm saying? Because, man. Bruh. Bruh. Again, somebody. Somebody. Somebody get this man off the street. You know what I'm saying? Because. I mean, how long, how long must this go on before someone realizes, hey, you know what? This dude is going to snap at the wrong person. He's going to hurt somebody. He may hurt himself. He needs help. You know, someone needs to do something, you know what I'm saying? For, for his sake and the sake of others. I mean, dude, he almost fought two random guys. Who were doing nothing but walking by him. They were just they just happened to be walking in, in the opposite direction that he was going. How long are you gonna let this man roam free? You know what I mean? Or how many other people in this town need to be affected by this person, this person who is whacked out of their mind, you know what I mean? Like, do do people actually have to fight him? Actually have to beat him up? You know what I'm saying? Or does he have to actually beat up somebody before people realize, okay, this dude is, is of danger to the public. He's of danger to himself. He needs to be taken off the street. He needs to be taken off the street. Forget jail. Take him to a mental institution so they can help him get his head on straight. Bruh. Bruh. Anyways, y'all. Uh, if you guys are with this reaction, y'all know what to do with the thumbs up down below. Y'all know what to do with that comment section down below. I look forward to ch checking out all y'all's feedback, as I always do. And, uh, yeah, you guys know what to do with that, that subscribe button down below. That will be greatly appreciated. And uh, don't forget to have your bell notifications uh, set to all so you never miss an upload. That will also be greatly, greatly appreciated. And don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. We we'll very much appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. So, the next one, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all have a blessed one. All right. Peace.